the older of the obviously bracket brothers here. Been a long time since you've really competed and been on the mat, right? I mean, what's the excitement level heading into the Bill Farrell and, and you know, heading into this weekend? Uh, I mean, first and foremost, you know, thank you to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for another opportunity to compete and wrestle and uh, do what I like uh, to do. Um, it has been a minute. I mean, I haven't competed since the last chance in April, so it's been a minute since it's been on the map, but, um, you know, this was definitely one I was circled on the calendar when I found out it was coming up, and I'm always excited to compete out here. It's a fun, fun tournament, fun city to be in. Um, just happy to be here. You know, we've seen you, you know, on the map, but as a coach, you know, coaching your brother, obviously, for the, you know, U20 spot, you know, how was the coaching experience like in getting to see your brother at the world stage? Oh, it was, it was awesome. Uh, honestly, it was just awesome to go through the experience with him and, and just to be with him every step of the way this summer on, on his training and getting ready for the world championship. Um, you know, I was so excited for him, uh, even more excited for him than I was for my, my own world championship several years ago. Um, so honestly, I mean, it was just a just an overall great experience. I mean, I'm very grateful to be able to do what I do uh, every day. I get to do it with my brother, obviously, and this summer was about him and getting him ready for the world championship, and now it's kind of back to us both competing and getting ready to uh, achieve our goals. You know, when he was going and competing, did that give you even more of an itch and a an spark? You know, you were saying that excitement level. Did that give you more, like, motivation to come back and, and kind of just, hey, I can't wait to get back on the mat? Uh, I wouldn't say that did, because honestly, I was full on focused about him. Um, wasn't really concerned with myself and, you know, what I was doing as far as my training and, and competing and stuff. So I wouldn't say that really gave me the itch. Uh, it was just, like I said, a great experience to be with him and do that with him. Um, but I think, you know, the itch just came back because, you know, I've wrestled my whole life. And when you get away from that for a little bit, when you're out of the room and you're not competing every day, you know, you, you do miss that, I'll be honest. You know, uh, you never know how much you miss it until you're out of it for a second. So, uh, like I said, just really grateful to be back. How's training been going for you leading up to this? Uh, it's been going good. You know, um, I got back in the room a couple months ago and uh, started getting to it. Um, obviously, when I first got back in, was in a very good shape. Like anybody who takes some time off from the mat, it's hard to get back. Um, but now I'm feeling really good. Um, I'm just loving the sport, honestly, and um, just feel really like free to just wrestle and, and just do my best. How excited are you for this uh, opportunity to wrestle with Bill Farrell? Very excited. Uh, like I said, this is one that uh, I really enjoy competing in every year. It's a really fun tournament. Um, you know, thank you to New York Athletic Club for putting this on and, and doing this. This is a great opportunity to compete and then you don't only get just compete against some Americans you get some international competition in there too so that's always great to be able to do um, you know at home versus having to go overseas and do it finally when you step out on that mat what do we expect to see from you I think you expect to see me wrestle pretty free and um, compete hard from whistle to whistle honestly and, and give it all I got and um, I think if I do that some you know good results will come